What's up? What's happening? Welcome back to another Through the Years where we take a look at your favorite athlete through the video game career. Now, today, we got KG, the big ticket, Kevin Garnett, future Hall of Famer, one of the best power for us to ever do it. Let's go. Now, we kick things off in NBA Live 97 where he is 78 overall, 83 mid-range shot, 74 in the foul line, 95 dunk, 83 block, and then an 80 defense or rebound rating. His numbers for his rookie season, which would have been a year right before this game came out he averaged 10.4 points per game average a block per game a steal per game assist per game and 6.3 rebounds per game now the year that went in he averaged 17 points per game he averaged about two blocks per game one steal per game three assists and eight rebounds moving on to nba live 98 he is 82 overall with 86 inside scoring, 89 for his mid-range jumper, 75 from the free throw line, 98 dunk, 80 block, and a 76 defensive rebound rating. Now, his numbers for his third year in the NBA look like this. He averaged 18.5 points per game, 9.6 rebounds per game, 4.2 assists per game, 1.7 steals, and 1.8 blocks per game. Moving into NBA Live 99, he is 82 overall, 97 inside scoring, 88 midi, 74 free throw shot, 97 for, the, uh, for his dunk rating, 69 for his block, and then an 80 for his defensive rebound. The 1999 season, he averaged 20.8 points per game, 10.4 rebounds per game, a block per game, a steal per game, and then he averaged 4 assists per game as well. Moving on to NBA Live 2000 with Tim Duncan on the cover. KG comes in at 84 overall, 90 inside scoring, 89 mid-range jumper, 70 free throw, 97 dunk, 72 block shot, and then an 81 defensive rebound rating. His numbers for the 2000 season look like this. Averaging 22.9 points per game, 11.8 rebounds per game, 5 assists, 1.5 steals, and 1.5 blocks per game. Beasting and feasting as he dunks on Timmy. And now moving on to next gen back then on the PS2. Kevin Garnett comes in at 87 overall as the cover athlete of NBA Live. He also comes in with a 90 mid-range jumper, 76 free throw, 97 dunk, 90 inside score, 92 defensive rebound, and a 67 block shot rating. The numbers for the 2001 season look like this. He averaged 22 points per game, 11.4 rebounds per game, also had five assists per game, about a steal and a half per game, and 1.8 blocks per game as well. NBA Live 2002. 89 overall for the big ticket. 89 mid-range jumper, 76 free throw, 97 dunk, 88 inside scoring, 91 defense rebound, and a 75 block rating. For the 2002 NBA season, his numbers look like this. He averaged 21.2 points per game, 5.2 assists per game, 1.5 blocks per game, 1.2 uh, steals per game, excuse me, and 12.1 rebounds per Per game. Moving on to 2K2. He's 98 overall. You see his attributes. I don't understand why they didn't give us numbers back then, but hey, it was their prerogative. It was their choice. You see me spinning around with KG. Don't he look like the Silver Surfer, surfer from like Fantastic Four? Just like the chocolate version? Y'all know what I'm trying to say, okay? He just looks real, real like, I don't know, smooth, if you will. I I'm gonna just stop before I get a whole bunch of pauses, you know, in the comments as well. Anyways, man. NBA Live 03, my man KG comes in at 95 overall with an 83 mid-range jumper, 80 from the foul line, 97 dunk, 94 inside scoring, 96 defense rebound, and an 82 block shot. His numbers for the 2003 NBA season look like this. He averaged 23 points per game. He also averaged 1.6 blocks, 1.4 steals, 6 assists per game, and then 13.4 rebounds per game. In 2K3 with AI on the cover, he comes in with a 94 overall rating, 97 close, 75 mid-range jumper, 77 from the free throw line, an 85 layup, 90 dunk, 94 post offense, a 90 post defensive rating, and he also comes in with an 80 overall block right there going to work on the Utah Jazz. Karolinka, I believe that's Karolinka, right? He did not stand a chance, man. 
Agent 47 or 47, AK 47, whatever they called him, he could not stand a chance versus KG. Anyways, man, NBA Live 04, he comes in at 97 overall with a 66 mid range jumper, 75 free throw shot or free from the free throw line, 95 for his dunking, 88 for his inside scoring, 94 for his defensive rebound, and then a 75 block. For Mr. Cake G in NBA Live 04. His numbers for the 2004 NBA season look like this. 24.2 points per game. Led the league in total rebounds with 13.9. Also had five assists, one and a half steals, and 2.2 blocks per game. Moving on to ESPN 2K4. He comes in at 97 overall as well. 97 close. 81 midi. 77 from the foul line. 85 layup. 90 dunk. 94 offense, uh, post offense, I should say. 92 post defense. 80 block. And then a 95 for his defense. A rebound. And watch out. Watch out, Amari. Moving on to Carmelo being on the cover of NBA Live 2005. KG comes in at 97 overall again. 66 midi, 79 free throw, 94 dunk, 88 inside score, 99 defense rebound, and then an 80 a block. His numbers for the 05 season look like this. He averaged 22.2 points per game, 5.7 assists per game, per game uh, assists were 1.5 per game, blocks were 1.4 game, and once again led the league in rebounding, averaging 13.5 rebounds per game. Moving on to ESPN 2K5 with Ben Wallace on the cover. KG comes in at 99 overall. Now, he's going to be 99 overall in two more games. Can you guess which one they are? Can you, can you, can you? Again, 2K5, 99 overall, 97 close. 79 midi, 79 free throw, 85 left, 85 dunk, 95 post offense, 95 post defense, and then an 85 block shot rating and right there in the face of Kobe. NBA 2K6, if it gets 99 and 2K6, you win the cookie. Just joking. Anyways, man. He's 99 overall with 97 close, 79 midi, 81 for his free throw, 69 layup, 75 dunk, 95 post offense, 95 post defense, 81 block. Now for the 2006 season, his numbers look like this. He averaged 21.8 points per game. Led the league in rebounding again, averaging 12.7 per game. Assists 4.1, steals 1.4, and blocks 1.4 as well. Getting it done. 2K7 with the diesel on the cover yet again. He comes in at 96 overall, talking about KG. 99 close, 78 midi, 81 free throw, 69 layup, 75 dunk, 92 post offense, 94 post defense, 80 block shot, and then the 97 defense a rebounding rating for KG. His numbers look like this, averaging 22.4 points for the T-Wolves. Also came in with a league league 12.8 rebounds per game. 2K8. The big ticket is now a Celtic where he wins his first and only NBA championship because anything is possible. Now in 2K8, he is 97 overall, 99 close, 79 midi, 84 from the foul line, 69 left, 75 dunk, at 98 post offense, 95 post defense, 78 block and a 96 defense, a rebound rating. His numbers for the 2K, or for, for, for the 2K, right? Numbers for the 2008 season, look at this, average 18.8 points per game and average 9.2 rebounds per game as well. 2K9, he's 99 again, he's on the cover once again. 99 overall, 96 close, 80 midi, 80 free throw, 77 layup, 75 dunk, 95 post offense, 95 post defense, 78 block, and then 94 defense or rebounding rating. His numbers for that year look like this, averaging 15.8 points per game, averaging 8.5 rebounds per game, averaging two assists per game, one steal, and one block. 2K10 with light skin Kobe. We got KG. 90 overall. 90 inside score. 92 close. 82 midi. 66 layup. 65 dunk. 92 for his post offense. 96 for his post defense. 66 block. And then a 92 for his defense or rebound rating. Now, his numbers for that year look like this, averaging 14.3 points per game and averaging 7.3 rebounds per game and averaging one steal per game as well. 2K11, 80 overall, 90 inside scoring, 81 close, 83 midi, 66 layup, 63 dunk, 83 post offense, 90 po 80 post defense, excuse me, 66 block shot, 82 defense rebound. Those numbers, averaging 14.9 points per game, averaging about a block per game, averaging 1.3 uh, steals, 2.4 assists, and a grand total of 8.9 rebounds 
her game as he's beasting and feasting on the Orlando Magic. And Dwight Howard, get that thing up out of here. I said, get, get that thing up out of here. Moving on to NBA 2K12, he comes in at 83 overall. 90 inside scoring, 86 close, 93 midi, 66 layup, 63 uh, for his uh, dunking, excuse me, 80 for his post defense, 66 block, and then an 89 for his defense of rebounding. Check out that mid-range jumper. Now his numbers for this, for this year look like this. 15.8 points per game, averaging a block per game, averaging about a steal per game, averaging 2.9 assists per game, and still getting you about 8.2 rebounds per game. 2K13, the big ticket, comes in at 83 overall again, 85 inside scoring, 92 for his close, 92 for his midi, 66 layup, 63 dunk, 85 post offense, 80 for his post defense, 60 for his block shot, and then an 89 for his defensive rebound. Now, his numbers for the 2013 NFL NFL season, for the 2013 NBA season, look like this. Average of 14.8 points per game and average of 7.8 rebounds per game as well, with a block per game and a steal per game as well, and 2.3 assists. Then he went on to Brooklyn, BK, stand up, Anyways, man, he comes in at 82 overall in NBA 2K14, 92 close, 92 midi, 81 free throw, 63 dunk, 82 for his uh, standing layup, 85 for his low post offense, 90 for his low post defense, and then a 69 for his block. Now, his numbers for that year in Brooklyn, they look like this, averaging only 6.5 points per game. Still getting you about 6.6 .6 rebounds per game, a steal per game, an assist per game, and just about a dunk per game at 0.7 per game for that stat. Moving on to 2K15, where halfway through the year, he went back to Minnesota via a trade, and then the big ticket comes in with his video game self, and then made 2K15 at 77 overall, 92 close, 74 midi, 85 for his free throw, 85 for his standing layup, 75 for his standing dunk, 81 for his uh, post fadeaway, 71 for his post hook, 87 for his defense rebound, and then a 69 for his block. Now his numbers for that year, they look like this. For Brooklyn, he averaged 6.8 points per game and averaged about 6.8 rebounds per game. For Minnesota, he averaged 7.6 points per game in five games, and he averaged 5.2 rebounds per game as well. Moving on to 2K16, his last NBA 2K as an actual active player. He is 80, 74, excuse me, overall with an 88 close, 88 midi, 72 for the charity stripe, 85 for his standing layup, 75 for his standing dunk, 81 for his post fadeaway, 71 for his post hook. Also comes in with a 89 defensive rebound and a 55 block rating. Now he is in NBA 2K17, but on the old school Celtics, he is 91 overall, and on the Timberwolves, he is 96 overall. He is an average 89.1 overall for all the games that I had. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope to see you next time. I will see you guys later. Peace. Hi, sauce.